Okay, so I'm gonna um, demo two 70s Les Paul copies. One is a Honda 2, and the other one is a Penco. They're both from the lawsuit era. <coughs> I apologize for the uh, jackhammering, if you can hear that outside, but that's Philadelphia for you. Okay, so let's start with this um, Honda 2 here. Um, it's got a solid wood body rather than a plywood body. Uh, natural finish, so it's got that real 70s look to it. It's a bolt-on neck. Both of these are bolt-on necks. Um, and a maple fretboard with a block inlay, black block inlay. Uh, rip off headstock perfectly, almost perfectly, uh, but enough to get sued. Original tuners on this one that work well enough to keep. Original pickups, all original except for maybe these knobs. Okay, so uh, let's give this one a listen because uh, I think this one weighs about nine and a half pounds, so it still feels like, you know, a heavy duty Les Paul. Uh, original pickups, um, here's the bridge. So they're actual humbuckers rather than single coils being hidden underneath the covers. A lot of Hondo 2s had that, I know, because I had a left-handed Hondo 2, which I ripped apart, and I found little single coils inside there. This one has actual double coils. Here's the neck. Very robust sounding. By the way, this is uh, being played through um, a root beer audio summer project handmade amp, which is $1,400. Sounds great. Made in Philadelphia. Okay, here's both pickups on now. pickups were out of phase and I couldn't understand why I opened it up and I realized that this pickup had uh, some hot glue around the edges of the bottom and I think someone tried to um, pot the pickup with hot glue rather than wax that's a quicker and cheaper way to do it and it does work um, that was to stop it from feeding back when you crank the gain however I think they accidentally flipped one of the magnets in here so Rather than trying to mess with the hot glue, I flipped the magnet in this one to get them both in phase again. Because if one's backwards, you're going to get that nasally sound with the two on, and right now you're getting that full sound. So flipping the magnet did work. Let's see if the actual, um, if the uh, potting with the hot glue worked. I'm going to crank the gain here. from the string ground, which is common. That's hooked up properly. Of course, when you touch it, it should go away. Well. well, I don't hear either of these bit pickups um, humming too much or howling from feedback, even when you get nice and close. But I'm not running very high gain right now, so maybe that's why. Either way, I like it. It sounds awesome not expect that from a bolt-on neck guitar. Here's another one. This is made by Penco. Now this one um, is a solid wood body as well, but check it out. It's like got a sandwich like the old 70s Les Pauls. Uh, original pickups on this one as well. Great iced tea sunburst on this. Lots of uh, binding uh, crumbling, but I managed to fill all those cracks with some filler so that won't get worse. Bolt on neck, uh, rosewood fretboard on this. Headstock is pretty, but it's not the exact ripoff. This neck seems to be wider and beefier. Feels a little more like a 70s Les Paul. And um, what else about this one? Um, change tuners. And so this, this one's a little easier to tune with the change tuners. Uh, let's try it with the gain on the bridge pickup, just like we just had it with the other one. A little more mid 
Done. 